what's up guys this is Josh from uh, Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake um, coming at you with a new trailer that I just stumbled upon this morning here uh, don't breathe too um, if you haven't seen that movie don't watch this um, reaction uh, due to some spoilers uh, the first movie was pretty interesting they really took you for some twists and turns on that one um, being about the the three people trying to break into this uh, blind man's home uh, to rob him because they, they they go around and burglarize people's homes um, to make some cash and you know for the the one girl in the group you know she wants to get her I, I believe it's her sister and just like get out of their home that they're in with her mom who's kind of just I don't know in a sense non-existent because she's just she it doesn't seem like she cares about the the girl that's in the in the home and or either of her daughters actually um and the prick of a boyfriend that was living there too so her main goal was to get out of that town get out of her home and start a new life with her her sister and then the other guy he's he seems like he's a relatively decent kid um and I don't know, just goes along with these guys and does these. I mean, his father works for the security company, so, like, he knows the ins and outs. Um, I, I think it just got mixed up in the wrong crowd. And then the, the boyfriend, total, just, for lack of a better term, a dick. Um, but they think this is just going to be another job this guy is easy target because he's blind and you know they sneak in at night real quiet and you know they can just get in and out get get majorly paid i guess this guy's sitting on some good money uh, his daughter was in an axe or was killed um and so they're just like oh yeah it's a simple job let's get this done you know we're gonna have a big score from this and then it goes horribly wrong uh, and then it you find out some some other stuff that you know I won't I, you know, I, I won't spoil the rest of it in the surprise the surprise twist at the end so if you haven't seen don't breathe go watch it pretty good movie definitely throws you for a loop but uh, let's just jump right into this don't breathe too like uh, trailer that we got today
Okay. Um, wow. Um, similar premise of someone breaking into his home uh, as the original film, but that definitely did not have the same feel to it as the original. Um, being that these people are here to like kidnap, I don't know if that's his granddaughter or someone that, you know, he kind of oversees every once in a while, kind of like a family friend. Um, but I mean, obviously they don't know, well they might, but I don't know. They might know his dark secret that's revealed at the, the end of that last movie. Um, but they might be totally in the dark about that. And that's probably why they allowed that girl to, to stay with this guy. But dude is a straight savage. He is like, for being a blind guy, you do not want to mess with that guy. I mean, obviously he is lethal. Uh, he doesn't need his sight. His other senses are very heightened. Um, I don't know why these people want to steal that kid maybe to draw him out obviously it looks like they're wanting him and expose him for some reason I don't know the trailer oh man it doesn't give a lot which is great I love that I love when trailers don't spoil the whole movie um, I mean it gave away some very good action scenes that you know ah, man I would have loved to just see that in theater and not have as much of that, but it definitely did a good job at kind of concealing the plot, giving away only what it wanted you to know, but not spoiling the entire movie. So, I mean, I really enjoyed the first film, so I'm definitely looking forward to whatever this one's going to bring to the table, because it obviously seems like it's going in a different direction than the first one, even though it kind of takes pieces and elements from the original and kind of plays on those notes even in this film um yeah i mean i had no idea they were going to make a second one i thought it kind of just left off and it could have been a standalone film but um i'm definitely looking forward to what what's going to happen um i'll definitely be checking that out uh, i would recommend any of you who haven't seen the first one give it a watch maybe a hit or miss for you but I, I really enjoyed it so all right guys you know what to do like comment subscribe um and i'll catch you folks later